All right, guys, so episode nine. In this episode, um, I do have some catches, but no coyotes. So I don't want you to jump into this and get all bummed out. I got some catches. I got a red fox and some nest predators. Um, the weather in Pennsylvania really, really changed. Um, we had some really good snow. It got really cold. Everything was looking good. And then it just got warm, and the canines have not been moving for me as of late. So I just started catching some other things. I'll show you all about that. And I did have some crazy crazy misses i had like one day where i missed like six or seven coyotes on the same day and i was really bummed out when we had all that snow so let's get into it this will be episode nine thank you so much for watching uh let's get going all right guys i got a unique situation going on here i just pulled up to my cable restraints that are down this hill and i saw a red fox um completely free just walking around so right this is where the hot set's been and then right below it i got I got, um, oh boy, how many cable restraints I got down there? Seven. I have seven, and I just seen the fox come out in the open, and he went back in. So I'm going to wait like five minutes, and then I'm going to fly my drone down there just to see if I have any catches, and maybe if I can catch that red fox. So that's pretty cool. Pretty cool to see. It's like he didn't notice that I had just pulled up in my truck. So I'm going to fly my drone down there and see what's going on. Oh, there he is again. I don't know if you can see him. Yeah, he just took off. He's out in the open running around. He's looking up the hill at me. Yeah, he's running downhill right and see which way he goes. If he cuts in on one of those trails, he's going to get caught by a cable for sure. Let me see if I can see if he's going straight down or left or right. I don't know. Downhill and he looks like he's going to cross the creek. <laughs> now he's running up the other side. All right, I'm gonna fly my drone down there and see if uh, I made any catches. So I know I got a red fox down here. Um, I don't think I got one, but. We're gonna fix up the cables and stuff as we head down to it. It's right there. I can see its tail flipping around. So yeah, it came through this trail. This one caught a deer. I don't know if this thing's hip caught. So I got a cable here. Looks like it got knocked down. I got a lot of cables close together. Let's see, I got one on this trail. Nothing in it, but here, yeah, hip caught fox. Um, I kind of figured I was gonna hip catch him because I set all these for coyotes, but we do got a fox, it's a male. He's uh, showing me, showing me that he's a male. So we'll get this guy taken care of and uh, yeah, move on down the line. Really cool catching. I actually was hurting here. I had I uh, went seven days without making a catch, and uh, I had lots and lots of misses. So he's giving me a little barks and growls. But I'm gonna get this guy dispatched and check to make sure the other cables are standing and show what it looks like, huh? Give me the snorts. But his eye actually looks kind of swollen. I don't know if he's been in a fight. I'm trying to look for. I mean, I see deer tracks. Um. I can't tell if that's coyote. It looks like maybe other fox tracks. So I'm sure there's more fox over here with the amount of sign I've been finding lately. So, yep, I'm going to get this guy taken care of and we'll move on. All right, so got him dispatched. Fur on this one's really pretty. I mean, it's, you know, we're looking at mid-January now. So real thick. It's not a huge fox, but um, it is predator and it is down. And, uh, yeah, little male. So... We'll get him skinned out and make something pretty out of him and use bait and just use him up. So, all right, let's move on. As we're down into single digits, this is the kind of weather that makes coyotes move. Let me show you something. This happens to me every year. Because of the snow, it changes how your cables look. You might blend them really good when there's no snow on the ground, but when it snows, things start changing. So, we had one critter come down this trail that was a coyote so let's follow that track 
Let's see what he did. He got right here to this cable and he stopped. I don't know if he smelled it or saw it. Sticks out like a sore thumb now, but he stopped right there. All right, guys, here's one of the fields I'm cable restraining. I want to show you some of these bobcat tracks that came through last night. So, got bobcats here. I have a cable down over here. The cable that I set up is like the cleanest trail going down into those woods. And a bobcat took that trail, and I thought for sure I had it caught, but a deer knocked down the cable before the bobcat got there. Actually, that's a good thing because I didn't want to deal with that. But I had another bobcat go over here to the right, kind of following this wood line through the field, which I had another cable set up because I know predators like to do that. And that one jumped over the cable. So last night, I had two opportunities at bobcats. It looks like two different cats. So this field's really good for lots of predators. I got bobcat tracks here. I had a coyote that came through there, just missed my cables. And I had two coyotes come through the end of that field that missed my cables. So I've got movement. I just haven't been in the exact right location yet. Oh, almost fell down. Let's move to the next place. All right. Can't tell if this was fox or coyote. But guys, I'm having a painful morning. Because <laughs> right here, let me show you. Yeah, that looks like maybe a coyote. Right here is my blind set that I made which they just jumped they jumped right over it uh, well I've had like seven misses today already this is rough well, guys we definitely had a coyote come through here not really sure where he went but check my set Loomis looks like he just ran straight through um, go down here and check this set it looked a little weird from the drone almost as if it was fired um, so we'll see. Well, looks like, let me see. Looks like we had a miss. I had tracks all over the place, coyote, coyote, and the uh, trap was fired off. I didn't like how this one was set up. It had just too much junk in it. It looks like uh, so it let this thing get away, but came over to check out the set, and yeah. Well, shoot. I'll get this um, reset. So that's miss last two days. I think this is my eighth or ninth miss. I mean, it's been it's been a lot, so... We'll get this bad boy reset and see what we can do. Just a PSA, public service announcement. That's a, yes, I didn't make the coyote catch. It missed them. But um, that is a possum remake. So if you're catching possums and you're all disappointed, like, ah, oh, possum got in there and messed up a good coyote set. In my opinion, they just made it better. Um, possums... I've had really good success on possum remakes, so just remake them. You never know what's going to happen. Um, I say remake any set. Like that set right there, well, some people would yank that. Missed them, never going to catch them. There's plenty of coyotes around here. Maybe that coyote isn't going to put his foot right there, but there's no catch circle. It don't even look like I nabbed him for any length of time. So I wouldn't be surprised if that same coyote, next time he swings around, goes to check out that smelly hole again. So let's move on. Well guys, almost every year, at least once, I catch a deer. This deer really got it around its neck, so I'm gonna try to tire this deer out a little bit so it'll lay down so I can get in there and clip clip that cable. So let's see what I can do. Alright. Try to get you out of there. Ow. Oh, y'all got warm. You know what that means when it gets warm. Oh, okay. This trap got all dug up. 
I don't know if the rain exposed it and then it got dug up. I mean, I got a raccoon over there, so I imagine who's guilty. But, um, yeah. So, decent looking raccoon. Hiding from me. Pretty big one. Check this cable restraint over here. It got knocked down, probably by deer. I just scared a bunch of deer. I just scared a bunch of deer. They ran past this raccoon. So, it got warm for a night, and you know what that means. It gets warm these these nest predators start moving fur looks good on this raccoon it's not a don't look like a real large raccoon but it does look like it's got some pretty fur on it so we'll get this guy or gal taken care of what's funny is this set has caught um two red fox and a bobcat it's i mean it's pretty much been a flat set the whole time just a rock two little holes underneath of it that's kind of all i did there and it just keeps catching so i went and put this set in beside it uh, just to you know give myself another opportunity for a catch and they got it all mixed up there was bait and lure and all sorts of good stuff down here somehow he didn't get caught there but he got caught over there so like i said we'll get it handled and go check these cables and move on another raccoon tell you what this trap is on fire i can't get it to quit got these cable restraints down there ain't catching diddly and then I've got this set right over here with bait and I thought for sure these critters would want nope it's this it's this set over and over and over again I don't even have um, lore I haven't put anything here I just reset the trap in the muck in the mud I mean I blend it in I take grass and stuff and put it in there I got a cable strand over here trying to catch animals coming through but that's not it. Now, this is not a real big raccoon, but we ain't letting it go. So, we'll get this guy taken care of. And, uh, yeah, so that's two coons in the last week out of this thing. This thing's caught two red fox, a bobcat, um, a possum. I mean, it's caught all sorts of things. So, this, remake your sets. You know, muddy, mucky. I don't know. I don't know if it's ever going to catch a coyote or a canine again, but I'm hoping these cables will. So, yeah. We'll get this guy taken care of and move on. Well, guys, I'm standing in a catch circle from a cable restraint. I haven't really looked too hard yet. I think. Okay. I think it was a deer. So, okay. We had a cable work the way a cable was supposed to work. Yep. Looks like deer air. The breakaway broke. And the deer got away. This is what you want <laughs> this is what you want i've had too many times where my breakaways do not break and i have to deal with the deer but okay so i'm not too upset about that everything worked the way it was supposed to work um been having a bad go of things lately but we still got a good bit of cables to check so let's get moving I'm not sure how long this has been like this let me see yeah it's Looks like it might have been a coyote, maybe a bobcat even. I don't know. All right, we picked up a coon. My trap line is pretty much shut down um, for canines. Canines have not really been moving for me. It's been way too warm, too muddy. We got a real, real cool looking dark colored raccoon. We caught him in this trail set. Now I had this set up as a flat set. This trap has been here for pretty much since the beginning of season. I set that trap up and then I went over here and set a blind set I'm just walking over and checking it out real quick okay so I got a flipped trap here hmm this had no lure bait on it so I don't know I'll get that fixed I'll get that fixed I plan on pulling these traps here within the next two days so I'm just gonna fix these two up this one I'm not gonna remake I'm just gonna pull the trap and uh, we'll see, see if we make another catch, but we'll get this coon taken care of. Um, we're not letting any of these nest predators go and we'll move on down the line. So uh, yeah, I don't know how many raccoons this make. This looks like a decent size raccoon actually. Um, yeah, so we are making catches. It just hasn't been canines lately. Hopefully they start moving because I've got, oh boy, like 65 cables out. It would be awesome if the canines would start moving, but they just haven't been lately. So yep, we'll get this guy taken care of. Big fat coon.
Well guys, here's a major bummer. I mean, I got coyote tracks everywhere, but this trap got dug up and then froze down. Let me see if it'll even go off. Trap won't even fire. Trap won't even fire, but they're here and they wanted what I had, but I am pulling all of my canine, all my footholds are getting pulled because uh, I don't have any more wax dirt and I'm just gonna focus on cable restraints. This farm doesn't have a lot of good cable restraint locations, so I'm pulling this farm completely. So well, anyway, we're gonna know that next year we have some left behind. So we'll be back, but boy, they did a number on that trap. They got it out of there. They, they dug it all up. They're all over this set. So what a bummer. And I had, let me see, I got another set over here. They dug around a little bit, but the trap was frozen down also. Oh yeah, I just set it off like in slow motion. <laughs> so they couldn't have got caught if they wanted to. I had two dirt holes and you could tell they ripped them both out. So yeah, I just don't have the proper equipment to keep going this year and I'm not gonna make any more wax dirt. I don't have any more wax. I ain't spending any more money. This year has been a bummer. I would, you know, set up wax dirt, wax sand, and it would rain for like weeks on end and even with all that rain it would just slowly wash away the sand and the, or the wax and i'd have to redo it and i used so much for so little reward this year so i definitely definitely in a negative when it comes to that this year but no big deal okay we're strength season is underway so let's get these pulled and move on all right guys i hope that some of my pain was funny uh, throughout this uh, I was really bumming I mean I've never set this many cable restraints I've only I'm only up to two canines so far this year with cable restraints that for me is like uncustomary especially when I have um, I think 75 cables out uh, overall so I started pulling some of my farms and now I'm setting up a new place so episode 10 is going to be me setting up a whole brand new place for the whole month of February and just seeing what we can get off of there seeing if uh, cable restraints and DPs are going to do it um, yeah so I just want to thank you guys so much for watching. God bless. Tight chains. I'll see you in episode 10.